Oh, how wonderfully the fully operational detonator on the aircraft bomb blinked. What have you got now? I hope it's a weapon for the battle against... <coughs> but that's a real detonator! And it's live! You have to defuse it, Suka! Hurry! But with what? With the power of love! What? Are you... Wait! I know! Phew, that was close. We'll snitch to Mother Superior. Exactly. This time you really went too far, Lily. What on earth are you thinking? You're even crazier than I thought. Totally un-gumbo. Don't just stand there. Get that bomb away from us. Take it somewhere where it can't do any damage. A bomb-proof place? A fireproof drum or something like that? The hairpins sparkled seductively, but to pull them out, Lily first had to find a bomb-proof location to dispose of the warhead. Memphis was trembling all over. No wonder, the stove had gone out. Huh? What? Quick, close the door before anyone sees me. This is the last safe place in the entire convent, and I wanted to stay that way. Uh, don't even try talking me out of it. I'm staying here. It's much too dangerous out there. Lily had no idea what Memphis was talking about. But he'd always been jumpy. But... Psst, someone might hear you, and then they'll take away my hiding place. And if they take away my hiding place, then I'll definitely be next. The stove is the safest place in the entire coffin. You know, it has a Krupp steel casing, titanium-reinforced interior walls, and is lead-coated inside. I'd even survive a bomb attack in here. Um... Now get lost before someone discovers me. If you're looking for your recipe, talk to Shorty. He pocketed it. La 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 la. The end of the world is near. It was the perfect place to get rid of the detonator. What's that? What, what do you have there? Lily could finally use the hairpin. Does it have to blink like that? Lily closed the door again to keep Memphis's hiding place safe. Oh, um, Lily? Lily? Something seemed to be wrong with Lily's ears today. She kept hearing all these sounds.
Edna always knew a few good jokes about bananas. But since Lily was such a good girl, she didn't understand any of them. mask was tightly screwed into the wall. But did that also mean that one wasn't allowed to take it? No, it only means you have to find the right tools. Something small enough to loosen the screws. Oh, what luck. Lily was relieved. Perfect. The hairpin fit exactly into the holes. The coconuts were quiet today, but it didn't matter. By now, Lily knew enough about shrunken heads. Lily liked apples. They were healthy, and sometimes you found worms in them. At least they listened when you spoke to them. Something was missing here. And even if it wasn't Lily's fault this time, she felt guilty anyway. Just as a prevention. Mother Superior drank a calming tea. Maybe she should switch brands. What are you creeping around here for? Feed the cat! Don't tell me you're done already! Uh... No. That's what I thought. I am slowly losing the will to keep constantly having to remind you ch ch children of what good values are. Take a look at the embroideries on the wall. They depict all of the important virtues. Superiority, strength, and self-control. Um... I'm quite aware that self-control is missing. Do you think I'm blind? <sighs> <sighs> now leave. I have to drink a calming tea. If you pass the classroom, remind Birgit to hurry up with her embroidering. If the self-control motif isn't finished today, I will really blow my top. Lily liked Doris, and her feelings were reciprocated. What are you gawking at me for, you stupid little brat? She was tough on the outside, but soft on the inside. Keep gawking like that and I'll wring your neck! At least she liked children. Oh, how I love you children! I wish you'd all die of smallpox! Aside from Edna, Doris was Lily's best friend. Lily liked Doris, and her feelings were... What are you gawking at? She was tough. Keep gawking! At least she liked... Oh, how I love... Aside from Edna... Um... What was that? <sighs> you impertinent little slug! I can't stand it when people gossip about me behind my back! The youth of today is becoming ever more insolent! No wonder, with all the violence and foul language in the media! If I could, I'd twist your heads off one by one! Ugh. Where are my cannon jars? I need something to calm my fingers! Otherwise something terrible might happen here! You? Before you ask for more food again, it's been hours since I held a cannon jar in my hand. My hands always get a bit nervous at times like this. They break everything they touch. Children's legs, children's arms. I just can't control them. Um... Uh, now I understand. You came to complain about the food, right? Well, then I have bad news for you. 
Children only get food from canning jars. And that's that. My hands are trained to twist the lids off. I haven't been wringing the necks of caged chickens for 20 years for nothing. Plus, I've got a court order that says I gotta open 10 jars a day. You can thank my idiotic lawyer for that. <sighs> Anything else? Do I have to explain it to you with puppets? Meal time ended long ago. The only thing that I'm still cooking today is food for Mother Superior's cat. And the food for Mother Superior herself. Or I should say I would. But my knife disappeared. And on top of that, the stove in the cellar has gone out. So I couldn't cook anything anyway. However, the most important thing is that Mother Superior still wanted to send a recipe to me. You don't happen to have it on you, do you? No recipe? Uh-uh. Yeah, then there's no reason for you to be here. Um. Oh, forget the recipe. As long as the stove in the cellar is out, I won't be cooking anything anyway. Huh? Don't bother. I won't be able to cook without my knife anyway. Ugh, when I get my hands on the child that stole my knife, they'll be amazed with all the things a knife can do. Hmm. What's the matter? Why are you staring at me like that? What are you even doing here between mealtimes? I know what I'm doing here. A jail sentence commuted to 10 years community service on probation thanks to diminished responsibility. Blah, 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 blah. Do you really want to hear this? Uh-uh. Yeah, Mother Superior didn't want to hear it either. And as long as she doesn't ask about it directly... The cabinet was locked, as usual. The animal motifs were taboo for Lily. Mother Superior only allowed her to embroider crosses and lines. But Lily could barely manage even those and often received a scolding. bother trying to distract me, Lily. Unlike you, I actually have a sense of duty. You don't get to be Mother Superior's favorite by just standing around like a moron all day. Like you. I work hard to get all those honors and rewards. The only thing I'm missing on my path to perfection is the Golden Girl Scouts badge on a ribbon. That's why I'm working overtime to perfect my embroidering skills. Mother Superior loves the embroidery because the pictures of animals convey important values. But you wouldn't know anything about that. You've always been terrible at embroidering and everything else for that matter. Uh, why don't you get to the point already? You seem to be lacking a few important lessons in values and standards. Haven't you learned anything at all? From my multi-award winning embroidery, each animal has an assigned character trait. Bears represent strength, and deer stand for heroic valor. There are negative role models too, of course. The porcupine, for example, is especially slow and sleepy. That's why you'll never find one on one of my banners. But maybe it's in your family's coat of arms. Um, in case you're wondering what I'm doing here, it's called embroidering. Ah, I know it's not your area of specialty. Otherwise, I doubt Mother Superior would have banned you from taking it. What a shame. I know how much you've always enjoyed embroidering. Lily had to admit that Birgit was right. Her productive friend was really much more talented. But that was certainly no reason for Lily to wish an incurable disease on her. Neither a disease with an oozing rash, nor a disease that causes her to cough her lungs out. Oh, Take your little boo-boos to Mother Superior. I'm not her deputy. Yet. But maybe that'll change once I've collected all my awards. <laughs> I'm already her favorite. 
bit quiet now. I just had a great idea for what I could put on the missing cafeteria banner. Damn, it's gone. Thanks a lot. Great job, Lily. If you want help, ask Mother Superior about a suitable animal role model. I'm already done with all my patterns. And remember, at this time of day, Mother Superior is always in the cafeteria drinking a soothing tea. So don't wander into her office. We're not supposed to go in there alone. And hurry up. My grades depend on it. Huh? <gasps> Stop bothering me. If you carry on like this, I'll never get my last award. The Golden Girl Scouts badge on a ribbon. Oh, yes. Birgit was Mother Superior's favorite student. She had to be the happiest child in the world. Dawdling. Feed the cat. And don't forget to remind if you self-control myself. Ah, <sighs> now Lee, I have to A note was pinned on the receipt holder. Dear, crossed out, Ms. Zimmelback, I have to say I'm very surprised by the way you fulfilled my request to send me a pet for my student's classroom. I had a real animal in mind, one that conveyed important values, like a puma or a boa constrictor. But the guinea pig you sent is useless to me. I've pickled it in alcohol to save it for the dissection class in biology. Send me a proper animal immediately, or you will not have heard the l l last of me. Regardless, Mother Superior Ignorance. Lily thought this idea was delightful. The guinea pig was bound to make a huge impression as an animal role model.
At least this is a regular animal motif. But do you think it also conveys really important values? Of course it did. Guinea pigs were cute and small, but always cheerful. Lily always tried to follow their example. Uh-huh. Hmm. Well, if you say so. Come back in a few minutes. If you don't bother me, I won't take long. The banner has to go to the cafeteria as quickly as possible. Birgit was mother. She had... What are you... The banner... The banner was magnificent. Birgit had done an incredible job. Birgit has finally finished the new banner, but what's that? A small, 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 d -d dirty guinea pig? Birgit didn't really make this, did she? Uh-huh. That ca ca can't be true. Can I not rely on anyone here? Just you wait. She'll get what's coming to her. <laughs> 